Hello, it's the photo extremist, and today we are going to learn how to take pictures of clones of yourself in different areas of a picture. This is known as multiplicity. Uh, it's also known as sequence photography when you're doing sports of like a skateboarder going off a ramp and each little section where he's jumping it, you can see it in the frame. Uh, okay, so I'm going to use a remote for my camera. You don't need a remote. You can use the self-timer. If you don't have a self-timer, you can use a friend to take the pictures. So, uh, I'm going to start off here, and then you're going you're gonna to see copies of me around the frames. Um, so let's just take the first one. Okay, and now I'm going to move over, and, uh, I guess I can put my arm around here if I wanted to. Um, and look over at myself. Okay, and now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to be jumping over myself. So I'll have to duck down like this and look up. Okay, now I'm going to be jumping over myself. So, alright, so I got all four in this little frame. Um, and now we're going to go to Photoshop and combine the pictures. So let's do that right now. Okay, after you're done taking the pictures, you're going to want to put them on your desktop. And then when you're in Photoshop, you're going to click File. And then you're going to scroll down to Scripts. And then you're going to go down to Load Files into Stack. You're going to, and then you'll see this, and you're going to click Browse. And you're going to select the photos that you took. You're going to click OK. You're going to leave these unchecked because we had our camera on a tripod, so we didn't have to worry about aligning the images. So now you're just going to click OK, and now it's going to take about a minute to do this. So let's just wait, and wait, and wait, and wait. Okay, so here we are. Um, we have all of our four pictures that we took it in different layers. So now we're going to select each layer and add a layer mask to each one. There's a little button down here that says add a layer mask. Just click that on every single one. Now you're going to want to select the top layer and right now this layer mask is white so we want a black brush and we're just gonna erase him and then you're probably thinking oh my gosh what are you doing but don't worry I'm gonna bring him back in a second and because this looks weird right here I'm just gonna make a soft brush to really even that out okay so now now that he's gone I'm going to click the layer mask to select it and then invert it by pushing control I okay so now that just I just erased them and then brought them back. So I'm basically deleting everything besides the person when I'm dealing with the layer mask. So now we're going to do the exact same thing with this dude right here. It's a white layer mask and so I'm going to use a, a black brush. I'm going to make it hard and I'm going to just brush over them. I'm doing this quickly because this is just a tutorial. Okay, and now click control I and there you go now you do the exact same thing with this guy just get him out and whoops control I and there you go now when you're all done you, you want to go up to layer flatten image and that just combines all the layer layers now I'm gonna crop that car so image crop and um, maybe a little bit on the right side and that's it um, so there you go <laughs> it looks pretty cool I like to use multiplicity when you're um, in different like heights not just in a big long row you can do it either way but I like to use like up down and all around type of thing 